Kelly, not a great kick from the pocket. They've done a lot of work to do. Chance now for Fremantle. Duffy around the corner. Very clever kick, and O'Sullivan marks. Unselfish, knew exactly the team thing to do there. So for the opening goal of the game for the Fremantle Dockers, bang through. An opportunity for Hammond at halfback. Dockers winning more of the football. O'Sullivan traps it brilliantly, lays it off. Here's Duffy. She knows where they are, directly in front, and she has the polish to finish it off. Hickey pulls it across her body. It's a one-on-one, -on -one. nervous times here for Pugh. Lays a strong tackle though, really great defensive work. Very quickly thumped inside 50, very good defensive work. That was Pugh again and gets involved a second time. Good awareness, but the kick not so good. Ricochets backwards, handball across, Parker into the open goal. The Gold Coast Suns are on the board. As a result, Sharp with that free kick sends a high ball in Housen from the side. Not quite with a second grab. Oh, ball rolls to the back and rolls through. Kate Floods kick the goal. Bowers, at ground level, time to measure the options. Houghton there, arrived too late. Yeah. Some real courage from Kasler. There's another docker down. Sabrina Duffy in a bit of pain this time, Mark. Bit of friendly fire there by the looks of it. O'Sullivan hand passes to space, not a bad option. Trying to create some opportunities for the forwards. Off the left, Roxy Rue into the pocket. Gemma Houghton, he loved to launch. Very tight angle, mind you, not bad for a right footer. Has to be precise. Oh. That is a wonderful finish, and Gemma Houghton celebrates accordingly. Ebony Antonio, driving ball inside. Oh. 50, oh, Roxy Rue! the pack hard teammates on their feet terrific clunk so she kicks after the siren here for Fremantle's fifth of the game keeps it low keeps it straight the mark deserved the goal and it gets it Didn't wait to find out. Attack the footy. Gives it to Miller. Gemma Houghton. Gemma Houghton, absolutely, with a fantastic shepherd there. And there goes another casualty. She heads laterally, getting back to chop it off. Well done. Tackle on Hewitt was outstanding. And the Dockers win it back. And that forward pressure has won back the ball, but also taken down another son. Quick to move it on. On the slide. Antonio, the sidestep, straightens up, wants to lay it off. O'Sullivan, little one-two, across to Antonio, 30 out. This would be a big finish if she could nail it. It's gone all the way, and that's the play of the day. Doesn't often happen, does it? The Grieve plays on quickly, free kick. Houghton, met very solidly by Kasler. Here's Grieve, kept running, handball over. Shot now, it's going, Goldwood. Maskell has kicked it. Outside range, but asking some more questions of this Suns defence. Oh. Out the back almost for Clifford. They scrap for it. O'Sullivan sweating. it. Oh, two Suns. Heavy collision. O'Sullivan gathers, kicks. What a finish from her. Hard at it was Antonio. Cara Antonio got the ball across to Flood. Kicked the last goal for Fremantle. High ball and terrific grab. Gold Coast have the numbers behind the ball, but Fremantle will win it back. Here's Flood. It opens up now big time for the Dockers. Oh. Little tap on beautiful for Duffy. Can give it off, can go herself. She does the ladder and does it brilliantly. They may well register their highest score of the season. Still plenty of time left as Stewart drives them forward yet again. Well done by Roxy Rue. That was a beautiful take. Kept running Ashley Sharp. Handball over the top. A little bit too much on it. Duffy gathers, composes, and from the goal square, what a great team goal for Gemma Houghton and the Dockers. Right on cue, O'Sullivan got the handball away. They are playing unselfish footy at the moment, trying to push off his grieve to create a path. She did that brilliantly. Duffy on the end of it. Oh, what a goal. So it's Fremantle 
into a preliminary final in the most emphatic fashion. And may well they sing this song with gusto.